Well, joining us, we have a student, Malida, to share her opinions and challenges, however she faced through online education. So, let's have a join in with her. Hello, Malida. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. So, tell me what are the challenges you have come across uh, while attending this online session? Um, the challenges I face while having an online class is probably current goals during the class I cannot join okay. and then sometimes Zoom meets do not work yeah. and I am unable to join the meeting, um, unable to join the classes when my lecturers are teaching because of the Zoom meeting, inconvenience. Okay. Okay. And, um, so uh, uh, usually now the government is planning to set reopen the schools and colleges by September 2nd week. So, what is your count on it? So, do you think it is safe and uh, if it is safe and willing back to go to the schools and colleges, so what can be the norms you expect from the management? Uh, probably good sanitary in the colleges, like students should be very sanitized, everyone should wear masks, proper, follow the proper um, measures which are supposed to be taken to avoid COVID and um, probably there should not be, there's a classroom sizes should increase, like the students should be divided into two classrooms, not 120 students in one classroom. Exactly, correct, correct. Yeah. So, and what kind of measures uh, you want to take it while you attending this physical classroom with uh, all your friends? Because mm -hmm. it's very difficult for student to student to ensure certain distance from each other because you guys are friends, definitely uh, it's a biggest challenge to maintain such distance called six feet between friends actually. So how uh, uh, students are mentally to be get prepared while attending this uh, physical classroom after this lockdown? Uh, like they must wear a mask and they must wear gloves. Mm -hmm. um, probably they should not even extend each other's water bottle or something like that. Try their best not to go in contact with their friends, like face, like very close contact with friends. Mm -hmm. Probably I would do that when I get back to college. I will try to maintain distance with my friends for me to avoid getting COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like when we specifically. So when we specifically talk about this uh, physical classrooms when getting back to from digital era to the normal C after this lockdown, it is not so easy for any student to uh, get into this uh, uh, normal C just like that because we mm -hmm. are at, we are just confined to homes for around uh, four months and uh, it's very difficult for any student to maintain certain timings called uh, nine o'clock, ten o'clock. Uh, uh, to yeah. hit the schools or colleges. So, how students have to get prepared in this two weeks ha and how, what kind of lifestyle they have to maintain in this two weeks to get back to uh, schools and colleges perfectly? I feel children, ha we have to make our mental health proper that we have to get back to college. We have no other way Correct. of school because that, that is the better thing than staying at home and virtual classes because virtual we are not studying anything to be honest hmm. so students should make up their mind that this has to be it and they have to get prepared they have to do more physical activities like probably wake up in the morning early just run about or do some physical activity in the house so that their mental health gets fresh and then they can go back to college or school on time yeah that's so, how i think it's <laughs> well definitely well getting into the subject so till now uh, if the schools were normally run around 25 percent to 30 percent of service would have been finished but unfortunately mm -hmm. the schools are and colleges are yet to reopen and the syllabus is still pending and they couldn't begin anything but whereas the exams the final exams are approaching and you have only five to six months of time so, what yeah. kind of syllabus reduction uh, things you expect from the government? Uh, the government should, uh, like probably now, because it's gone so hard, students' bar line of passing should decrease. If it was 35, they should make it to 25 probably. And the syllabus should cut. Like if there were 
10 chapters in our syllabus, they should make it at least 7 because it's very less time for us to study. Correct. And giving us the whole syllabus is going to be big rocket science for all the students out to face. Yes. So, so I feel that they should do that. Like, do you think our students and uh, teachers, uh, even including the management, will be able to cope up with the traditional classroom after this long gap? Not really. I think it's going to be difficult for the lecturers and teachers also. Yes. All together, students will start showing their tantrums with the lecturers, not behave properly. So it's going to be hard for the like, teachers too. But they have to still do it because they have no option and we have no option. We have to listen to them now. Well, so when we talk something about this online classes, getting back, uh, there are few teachers and the institutions also who are still not ready to uh, go with the online classes because there are certain budget schools which are yet to start. So, mm -hmm. but in this time, like uh, they are when they are yet to begin, the schools are all ready to uh, set to reopen for the students. So, do you think it? It is a time to go for online classes or it's a go for a uh, physical classroom and the traditional classroom as just such normalcy. So what can be the better option at this time, particularly when the coronavirus cases are on surge? Uh, if it's because of, co because of this COVID, I think virtual classes only because the students, we get back to classes, we don't know how every student is coming from which background from which area where there is COVID cases. So there's more spread of COVID then and then more increase, uh, more death rate. So I think virtual classes are only better just when compared to the death rate. Well, so well on the other side, the more like three things response to the disruptions create a pool of courses which has a higher takers to colleges right now and it will also help interdisciplinary learning among the students where this pandemic has also offered a chance to accelerate efforts and reimagine education delivery. So the education system is completely changed and also disrupted. Whereas mm -hmm. uh, to certain uh, system to get fallout is a bigger challenge for every one of us. So in this regard, this digital change which has brought up to lives of the student all of a sudden due to COVID, uh, can we take it like a development? Or uh, as the students are missing the physical normalcy classroom and the traditional classroom, so we take it like a drawback. So what can be considered the development or the drawback higher? Uh, I think students, uh should take it as a uh, challenge. They should, uh, if, if, if it's needed to us to join school or college, they should take it as a personal challenge and uh, take it as their own responsibility by doing their own safety measures and everything so that it will be uh, safer for everyone over there and then we can have good, uh, good, uh, good classrooms, traditional classrooms. Correct. So here when specifically we talk about uh, management school management and the students so there is no interaction between the management and the students now uh, mm -hmm. directly but uh, all of a sudden the restrictions of the management falls on the head of a student like uh, wearing a uniform taking a notice and everything like uh, which all the little little punishments along mm -hmm. of uh, not completing the assignments in all so this all will fall into the heads of students whereas now it is completely uh, students are in a freedom world so mm -hmm. if the management uh, tries to impose certain kind of normal uh, restrictions like uh, giving uh, certain punishments for failing to present assignments and all so will students mm -hmm. be mentally ready to take all such things yeah, that is obvious. We have to be mentally prepared because that's a normal factor when the students know that they're continuing the education and they're pursuing the education. They should be prepared to complete the assignments. That's how responsible students have to be. Hmm. So I feel that is fine. That's not going to be a big deal for students. If that is not, the students are going to take the lecturers for lenience and uh, not uh, respect lecturers. They would say like, uh, 
ఎన్ని రోజుల తొమ్మిది డేస్ ఐ హ్యావింగ్ లాక్ డౌన్ వై షుడ్ ఐ లిసన్ టు మై లెక్చర్ no i think they need to be straight when it comes to assignments and on time submission it's fine if the uh, principal or the school teachers uh, give them a punishment because then how students will listen or they might be responsible correct so especially the concentration power of student uh, is reduced around uh, to limited to 3 minutes before uh, when the students used to present this normal classes they have a con- concentration power of 10 to 12 minutes but now it reduced mm-hmm. to 3 to 5 minutes so uh, how like what is the certain chances that we have a uh, uh, student can get back the concentration power of 10 to 12 minutes once the normal see begin yeah that that's um, that's a nice question though So I feel every college or school, every institution, first one hour when the students get back to school, they should have like physical activity, probably yoga or meditation or any kind of physical activity so that the student's mind would get concentration, uh, the concentration power increase and then they can start having classes. Then that's how it might work or one hour of reading, normal just reading a novel or normal reading a book for students so that your concentration increases for the student. and then we can have our classes so that might work because meditation increases with your concentration power correct correct so uh, like uh, the students uh, will be physically stressed out now we are in rest physically like uh, mm-hmm. though we might be attending online classes but uh, after certain time we will be uh, definitely get stressed as the schools get reopen and we must have to go here there and all when the other caller around uh, uh, sixth class student which was uh, i was discussing the other time was claiming that uh, for each and every period or certain subject class they have to walk from class to class or floor to floor so mm-hmm. to attend certain class they have to leave the class and go to certain other place and attend that class and come back to his uh, actual classroom so this kind of physical activity and also play time and also certain actions like walking here there and everything also be uh, getting back to normal see once the school begin so mm-hmm. this physical activity and how the physical strength of student is going to uh, be supportive after this lazy lockdown mm, yeah that's there yeah students will obviously get more tired and more exhausted because of walking and everything but um, if they don't even do that and they, if they stay home for more days they're going to get more and more lazier and then their physical activity will be bad so probably they should have good nutritious food mm-hmm. have good uh, vitamins then they'll be able to move about and then that's how they can cope up with traditional classroom well like there are also certain kind of uh, reports claim that student make uh, uh, very nasty things uh, with the teachers who are teaching online and yeah. there are also certain bullying also reported by few institutions which are not to be named so if that mm-hmm. is happening everywhere and uh, how student need to perform like how student need to react because some of the other friend is actually going to do that attempting to do that but as a mm-hmm. friend what we can suggest them uh yeah i totally agree with that that's how i i even i am going through at the moment because students don't behave well when they are on a virtual class okay. they keep bullying the lecturers even i noticed that in my virtual classes too so i think we need to actually i wanted to personally message uh my classmates asking them not to do that because it's getting annoying for the lecturer as well as the other students who are trying to concentrate on learning so i think we have to make an initiative to go and talk out to those people and ask them to stop doing that and if they don't listen to that probably if i know their names i will go directly and tell it to my principal and ask my principal to take serious action on them hmm because i literally i feel like doing that when it happened to me in my virtual classroom my my batch people were doing that so i wanted to do that to them so i waited for one or two days and then i wanted to speak to my principal about it well so online classes are also being taught for uh, primary students and pre primary students too 
so mm -hmm. for a higher class students it's completely flexible to attend online classroom because we are already used to the smartphones devices and all the yeah. uh, appliances which require to attend online classes but whereas the pre primary students are also instilled to attend to this online classes so how do you mm -hmm. support this decision from the school management that instilling parents to ensure those uh, three year little uh, child to attend an online class too so will that help them anyway no i think that is too stressful that is really not worth having because they too want to sit in one place and concentrate when they're in classroom itself they keep running about because they're just very small virtual classes for kindergarten is not worth having because their mindset is not as strong as that obviously not because they're too small to understand that they have to sit in one place and the parents will start to hit them to make them sit and listen to those classes which they are not going to understand so i don't think virtual classes is for small kids they shouldn't be having well so students stress over online now uh, classes is something a uh, big talk now so how students need to uh, ensure that they are not get stressed so as a student you attending online classes how do you mm -hmm. maintain your uh, class timings and uh, or uh, screen duration per day and how do you plan your schedule and how you take care of yourself while attending online classes to not get stressed mm. yeah so probably i'll join when i have classes i just join because we had we have some time to do that we don't have always mm -hmm. so Uh, I try to just uh, whatever my lecturer speaks at that moment, I just listen to it, and then later on part of the day, I just read my textbook or I read Google or watch a video because I have no other option. Yeah, it's very stressful when compared to virtual. A uh, virtual classes are very stressful. I am finding it very stressful because I am not understanding certain topics, mm -hmm. and then I'm unable to even get to my lecturer and ask him to explain because it's even stressful for him to explain every single topic. to me or to many or one to any members in our batch so okay. and maintaining schedule is actually a big thing because we sleep late in the night and then we have to wake up in the morning for our class it's very hard for us and we are not waking up with good concentration we're just waking up to just attend a class so that our parents don't yell at us so it's just like that for most of the students at out there as i know well uh well when we certainly talk something about uh, uh this plan of schedule of a lifestyle of a student previous and now there is a huge change there is a certain huge change in each and every line uh from day uh sleep timings to food timings and everything has uh, got changed due to this online and the virtual classrooms which we are currently in the era of digital so when the education regulators are working to create this online courses in liberal arts and lagging so far so how can uh, the management and the government can control this uh, uh, over extremely exposing online classes because when we uh, see certain bookworm students like the student who continuously teachers and concentrates on the classroom whatever the school or the a particular teacher is teaching so for mm -hmm. them it is completely difficult to complete it though like few active students will concentrate for few minutes and few others they just don't even care they will concentrate on how they have to gain certain knowledge from though that particular class and they'll come up with the highlights and they will ensure they attain certain knowledge but the bookworm students specifically when we are talking about they will completely attend all the classes minute to minute and they will also complete the assignments uh, of each and every teacher whoever presenting it and again they will do their personal things again in the gadgets and also the research work yeah. and everything adds on to the screen timings which is increasing day by day so what wha what we can actually suggest to those bookworms about this education regulars and uh, how what kind of lifestyle we can suggest them mm. 
Yeah, when it comes to bookworms, we cannot change uh, their mentality of thinking because Correct. they are they just want to study that time. They study this, they study like they don't get diverted. So mm. probably they should stop taking so much of stress. I think uh, because uh, the semester everyone it would be hard for everyone. But when they start building so much of pressure on themselves, it's like building pressure on others too. Because other students will see them and then they'll be like, oh, these people are studying so much. Is it uh, like probably because they have good gadgets and they have good facilities, they might be good bookworms. But students who can't afford it and they are bookworms, it will be very stressful for them. Correct. So, yeah, so while imagine. on the same line, uh, we can talk something about taking breaks uh, bef uh, between the uh, between attending this uh, each and uh, every online session. Like uh, managing stress also as a pursue of online education, which can be often uh, be as simple as taking a break. Well, sitting mm -hmm. at one spot for one hour and as we learn online classes is not good for our mind or the body so what kind of breaks will help to get freshed uh, probably students should start doing yoga yoga okay. or meditation hmm. helps a lot in hmm. uh, decreasing your stress level hmm. um, and uh, students should uh, concentrate like what the same on other activities like they should learn every day another skill to decrease their uh, stress levels and have a diversion in time mm -hmm. because they cannot go outside and go for a walk in the park to so probably do something in their house and for a break of time hmm. do some new activity there's so many new activities we can do well well i also think that uh, taking a break doesn't need to be a very complicated endeavor where it can also mm -hmm. be simple like uh, standing up stretching yeah. Uh, having some little water so yeah, I, right. I I hope that can work also better so when yeah, checking with new yoga like a little bit like few good breathing then all you go out and stand on your balcony though that's fine but not go out for a walk because that's harmful for our health yes definitely so how can we mm -hmm. get organized our academics because the syllabus is uh, huge and we mm -hmm. are yet to get our classes so uh, mm -hmm. all before as we have our textbook in our hands and uh, the topics which we know already in our hands so before management teaches us something how can we organize our academics and schedule ourselves to get prepared for the examinations what can be done uh, we can actually do this like we get, uh, like uh, we as students are doing this that mm -hmm. uh, the topics first we are checking in google like mm -hmm. we're just going to the topic in Google or in YouTube, just getting a little hands up because you get everything in YouTube nowadays. Google and uh, yes. uh, YouTube gives us everything. So yes. you can just go through the topic first, little bit, get a brief understanding. And when the lecturer explains it to us online, that would be very easy for us to understand. Directly just sitting in front of the system and the lecturer is explaining that you wouldn't understand. So Correct. I prefer just going through it and then going through the lecture. Correct, correct. And also, while we are confined to our homes and uh, uh, when we are continuously with the screens, the concentration on food is also uh, completely destroyed, I can say. Or else, mm -hmm. uh, with the people, it, it uh, uh, saw a spike, spike of hunger. And mm -hmm. so, how we can actually uh, manage our food habits? Yeah, because when we go to school, we maintain a proper diet, good yeah. healthy lifestyle because our parents would obviously pack healthy food for us like breakfast, lunch and So now once we are at home, we wake up at wrong timing. Mm. We eat a lot of junk food, whatever we order food online. Now as we gain the matter started, we just order junk food. We eat at wrong time. So yeah, we are, we are actually eating a lot of junk food and unhealthy food. Yeah. Yeah, we need to displace on that so that we get a healthy lifestyle and good healthy. Lifestyle. Correct, correct. And also, uh, with the online classes, stresses, and as the screen uh, addiction, which is actually increased uh, along with the Netflix and all uh, OTT mm -hmm. platforms, the sleep timings is completely reduced, uh, especially in the teens like you. 
So mm -hmm. how do you manage your sleep timings? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's there. Um, sleep timings, yeah. So we don't sleep on time because of watching episodes or TV series or something. So we sleep like around 2-3 o'clock and then again wake up uh, at um, maybe 7-8 because we have again classes at 10 o'clock. So we might even make up at 9 o'clock. So there we're having break of sleep. Again we sleep in the afternoon. Yeah. Like wrong nap hours which is not... I mean, I'm so managing it in that way. <laughs> That's cool. Well, uh, on the other side, being uh, social, like staying social, uh, being confined to home is something very, very difficult task. So being friendly with our friends is also very tough as we, are, we couldn't meet them at first place and secondly, we couldn't get certain time to have a conversations and all regarding anything directly as we're not meeting them at all directly. So how are you able to be uh, maintain social life and how are you able to maintain your friends in this lockdown? Uh, probably we are calling video call or something like that and talking to each other. Okay. And um, once in a way we are meeting in certain places, but we are actually maintaining social distancing. Okay. We are meeting in some food joint, maybe McD or Domino's. Mm -hmm. And then we are maintaining with social distancing. Like we, yeah, we do wear masks and gloves and we meet. So that's safe for us. Well, turning a call into something interesting. So, what kind of uh, little little reasons uh, does student give to attend a uh, friend's video call at a personal place to the parents especially? Mm. Yeah, so I understand. Yeah, because when they are out with friends, it's different. When they are at home, um, students, like if they are from a very normal family, they would actually not want their friends to know they're from a very normal family. They would try to show what they are not. So mm -hmm. probably they will be forcing their parents that uh, the house is not good, I don't like the house. So it's a more pressure to the parents than to the students. Mm, yes. Because of pressurizing the parents saying that this is not good, that is not good and they want everything to look very posh and fancy so that the friends also think that they are very posh and fancy. <laughs> So still the students uh, try to get on to this lifestyle where uh, the friends are actually having like the good friends which are actually having. So uh, does this kind of imbalances between friends will affect the friendship anyway? Uh, depends on few person to person. You people, yeah, they do. They do judge their friends based on the standards or probably their looks and how the house looks. You know, people are normal. They just don't give up. They don't care about how exactly. they friends are. Exactly. So people do, as I know. Yes. So, because like uh, friends of friends is something, uh, a relation is something quite different which comes uh, without any expectations. So, I yeah. don't think so we should give a damn about this kind of imbalances that exactly. we have. And then yeah. I'm getting back to uh, schools and the syllabus, so there is a vast uh, uh, techniques and uh, many different kind of methodology and also finance to present an online class. So what kind of method teachers should adopt to teach an online class to ensure that the, uh, students get appropriate attention and concentration to attend the class? So how it would be more lively to attend an online classroom if the teacher attends or uh, takes a certain kind of measures to teach particular way. So what can be done with a teacher? So uh, it's not comfortable for all the lecturers to do an online classes because they have experience of 12 years, 13 years, 15 years of traditional classrooms. All of a sudden for them to take a virtual class is very difficult. Correct. So probably they need to enter at more when it's a virtual class or they maybe have to be more a little strict when compared to traditional classrooms because students do not listen when it's virtual because they know that the lecturer cannot do anything to them when it's virtual true yeah so the lecturers may have to be a little strict probably when it comes they should like, they should just give students warning if you misbehave on a video call we will um, 
like deduct your marks or something. I think they should do that because otherwise students will not listen to them. Students will misbehave. Yes. So, well, uh, the government is taking a latest uh, uh, steps that they are going to present this academics through a television called Doordarshan. So, which is a very old television and the only television of our government of India. And uh, mm -hmm. in it to ensure that each and every student uh, uh, attends this uh, online class and takes the academics. So, they are trying to telecast this academics through uh, television. So, do you think uh, uh, students will be benefited with those television uh, classes? I don't really think. Okay. I don't really think. Because when it's even phone, students are switching off their cameras and going and watching social media. For sure, they're using YouTube or maybe, <coughs> not YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp or something. When it's TV, obviously they switch off their cameras, they change the channel and then watch Netflix or a movie, right? Definitely. So, but still, in the remote areas, as the students couldn't, couldn't access to this uh, uh, Wi-Fi and all internet connection, so mm -hmm. the government is trying to uh, push the academics through the television. So, yeah. that's the way the government is thinking, but definitely, as a student or as a supporting student, we definitely couldn't uh, get certain concentration on a television mm. classroom. Then what can be done to ensure uh, this uh, remote students get uh, this uh, education a part of the television idea? If it's remote student, then uh, Doordarshan or the TV would do because uh, I'm sure the students from urban area, like from rural areas would not be so addicted to social media when compared to city kids because mm -hmm. over here we are very addicted to the social media everything is social media everything mm -hmm. we eat we need to post on social media i don't think those students have that kind of mentality of posting everything mm -hmm. on a social media or being so addicted to social media so that way for them tv would be a good opportunity because they do not have wi-fi or internet connection because they're staying in villages well. so then it's Fine, uh, that, that's a good idea. Well, uh, as we wrap, do you have anything to share it to your friends regarding the curriculum and all? I feel that um, our exams should uh, probably, if we are having semesters or something, they should be cancelled because we don't have time to prepare. And we are studying in good, uh, like we're doing professional courses, like it's like I'm studying law. So for me, to go through my syllabus is very hard. We're not having good proper virtual classes. Uh, lecturers are trying their best to give us, but we are, aren't understanding most of it. So I feel that our semesters should be cancelled in place of our semesters. Uh, our colleges, they should give us more assessments so that we complete our assessments and gain marks on that and then promote us based on that. Well, that's a great idea. I hope Garmin listen to the, you too. Well, thank you so yeah. much for joining us in our show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. to this school scan. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day.